Hello friends and uh, welcome to Edupedia World Videos. This is the course Linux Operating Systems Basics and in this particular video we will learn about the date command of Linux. First of all let us see what is date command used for. Okay, So date command is used for displaying or setting the system date and time okay and it can be used to format the date and time output as per the given format options so both the things date as well as time on Linux shell is displayed by date command and you can use it to set your system date and time also and it can also be used to format the date and time output as per the given format options so to display the date and time you have to simply enter the date command on your uh, screen on your shell window and press enter so this is my putty uh, which is a remote SSH client which I have used to connect to my virtual machine so here if I enter the date command you can see the current date and time is actually displayed on the screen okay so apart from that there are other options that you can go through the man date that will display the manual page for the date command okay so when you prepend man to any command in Linux so it will display its manual page that is its documentation if it is available and for most of the commands it is available okay so by default the date and time is displayed in a particular format that you can see over here okay and there are options to modify this format we will learn how to do that so this is the manual page for date command okay it is used to print or set the date and time and there are various options as described over here date hyphen d can be used to display the date depending on a particular string okay similarly there are other options hyphen f hyphen r so let us now uh, you know we will pick up a few options out of these and we will learn those so those are the options that are most frequently used okay otherwise you can go through rest of the options yourself so there is one option that is hyphen s which is used to set the date and time described by a particular string so you have to give a string after the command date hyphen s and your date and time will be updated accordingly then there is date hyphen u which actually will display the time as per the universal time clock okay UTC time which is the zero degree or the Greenwich Meridian time that will got get displayed over here okay so then there are the format control options so first you have to enter the plus sign and then you can display the various parts of the date as per your wish by specifying these formats so if you specify plus percentage a it will give the locales abbrevi abbreviated weekday name that means Sunday so it will be abbreviated to Sun so three letters per name if you enter pers uh, percentage capital A it will give the full name that is Sunday complete okay similarly for month names you have small b and capital B and uh, for date and time if you want to display it this way it will be the percentage C option for century you have percentage capital C option similarly day of month okay and then there is one option that is for generic date format which is percentage capital D so it will display your month forward slash day and forward slash year of the date in this particular format okay then you have many other options that you can try and we will try a few of them so let us now try the option hyphen D okay date hyphen D so hyphen D actually except uh, expects a string argument after the hyphen D so how can hyphen D be used suppose you use date hyphen D then you have to give a string to it and that string can contain the reference to the present or future or the past time so it is simple English sentences that you can use like if you want 
to print current date you can also use now okay so date or date hyphen d now or even date hyphen d today is the same thing so date hyphen d suppose i want to display the yesterday's date so i can do date hyphen d yesterday and it will display the yesterday's date okay and similarly you can do it for tomorrow also it will display tomorrow's date and then there is one other option which is suppose I want to display the time that was one hour ago so one hour ago so you can write the ago keyword okay after the time that you specify over here and it will display the date which was one hour ago so currently it is 1601 and one hour ago the time was 1502 so that is the time which is exactly one hour ago similarly you can display if you want to display the time which is one hour in future so after one hour what time would be so you have to skip the ago keyword and just enter date hyphen d one hour so it will display the time which will be there one hour later okay similarly instead of one hour you can use all the keywords like you can do it two years three months and one day okay so if you do that it will actually calculate the date based on your string that you have entered so two years three months and one day later this would be the date and similarly if you add the ago keyword ago keyword after this it will tell you two years three months and one day ago what was the date okay so this is how to use the date hyphen d option okay apart from that we also have some other options available so to set the date also have the option to set the date and time using the hyphen s command so currently you can see the date and time it is sunday august 7th 1603 and 40 seconds if i want to set the time i can use date hyphen s and then i have to pass a string so you can copy and paste the same string so no need to copy the weekday from over here because it will be taken care automatically so you can just copy the this part okay and if I want to change August to September say 6th okay and the time I want to change to 9:15 a.m. and let the year be 2017 so it will display the updated time as, as well as the time would be actually updated so you can check it using the date command it has actually been updated so to reset uh, I will just copy the date string that was at that time and I will paste it into date hyphen s option and let me just uh, increment the minute by one minute so now the date has been set back to normal so that is how you can set the date and time on your Linux system in case you only want to change the time so just change the time over here in this string and then press enter okay now we also did one more option which was which was date hyphen new okay so date hyphen new is used to display the UTC time okay so my time zone minus the addition of my time zone so that will be displayed when you do when you use this particular option so my time zone is actually IST which is the Indian Standard Time and it is actually 5 hours 30 minutes uh, ahead of the UTC so here you can see the difference is exactly 5 hours and 30 minutes between the current time and the UTC time okay so this is how to display UTC time apart from that we have learned that in date you can specify the format so instead of getting the date displayed as the default Unix time format I can also specify uh, I can also specify my own format and date will be printed in that format so to do that you have to use date then plus option and after plus 
you have to specify your format suppose you specify percentage capital D so percentage capital D is by default the format in which you have the month day and then the year separated by the forward slash so eighth month seventh day and 16 2016 here separated by forward slash so that's the percentage D format suppose you want to specify your own format you can simply write suppose I want the day first okay D percentage D will display the day then percentage M will display the month and percentage Y will display the year okay so that is 7th August 2016 if I want that the name of the month should be displayed then it can be percentage capital B will display the complete name of the month percentage small b will display the abbreviated name of the month similarly if I use percentage capital Y that will display the year in four digits okay and if I use small y it will display year in only two digits okay and suppose I don't want any delimiter so you can do it like this if you want the delimiter as space so you can do like this but you need to enclose your format in string so in case you have space inside your format string you need to tell Linux that this particular string starts from here and ends over here by default it will treat it as ended as soon as it encounters the first white space so if you want space to be specified in the format specifier you have to uh, enclose the complete format inside your double quotes okay so apart from this you also can display the weekday okay so the weekday can be displayed by small a will display abbreviated weekday and capital A will display the complete weekday and if you don't want this uh, single digit days to be padded by zero okay similarly it is same similar for the case of month so you don't want single digit months or single digit days or single digit years to be padded by zero like it is being done over here what you can do is you can write percentage zero D percentage zero M so it will sorry it will percentage minus D and percentage percentage minus M so it will not get padded so you have to use percentage minus before the day or month pattern if you don't want them to be padded by zeros okay so by default it will add zeros to pad it for double digits okay so this is for date and you can also have similar formats for times so percentage H so capital H will give you R in 24 hour format which is 16 okay right now it is 4 p.m. so it is giving 16 and then colon percentage capital M will be give you the minutes and percentage capital S will give you the seconds okay so that is how you display hours minutes and seconds if you want to display the R in 12 hour format you have to use small h okay so then in that sorry small let us refer to the man page to check how to display R in 12 hour format so man date and come down to the format okay so it is percentage capital I I so it was not percentage H it was it was rather percentage capital I that is used to display R in the 12 hour format and similarly for AM and PM that is suffixes you must have some other options let us check what is the option for suffixes
so it is percentage p okay so if you want to display am or pm you can use percentage p so it will display 4 11 25 pm okay similarly you can explore a number of other options that are available over here so to display the time zone you can use hyphen z option and similarly there are some predefined formats that you can use to display your hour and minute or the time and the date also and then you have percentage capital N to display nanoseconds okay so you can display the time in the least count of nanoseconds okay and then percentage small s is used to display the epoch time so epoch time also known as unix time is the number of seconds passed since 1st January 1971 okay so you can check it over here 1st January so percentage small s we have to search okay so 1st January 1970 so number of seconds since 1st January 1970 12 midnight is displayed by using percentage s so internally unix or internally linux actually stores its time in terms of one counter okay which is the number of seconds passed since 1st January 1970 midnight so that is a far more easier representation of time than storing the month date and hour separately so while presenting while displaying the time it actually calculates based on these number of seconds that and your time zone that what time actually to display so this was basically how to display date and time how to set date or time on your system and how to display date or time in a formatted manner on your system so I hope that uh, this small tutorial video was clear to you on how to use the date command on Linux system. Okay, so continue to watch the course Linux operating systems basics. Thank you.